Hi, my name is Holly Cheek and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hogwarts Systems. In today's video, we will be covering how to assign BOM IDs and edit tables. I have an exploded view of a clutch currently in the viewport for my view that I'll be assigning this to. You can assign BOM IDs manually just by selecting on any of the geometry reactors and in the properties pane on the lower left hand side underneath BOM ID, I can type in the ID I want and hit enter to accept it. Just above that in the left pane, I can see that my 3301 clutch has a BOM ID of 1 as well as a quantity of 1. You can also do this more automated using the workshops tab along the ribbon and launching that BOM workshop. The BOM workshop will show up on the right hand side of the screen there. You can choose to apply to selection, visible geometry, all geometry, visible parts, and all parts. We're going to leave it at selection and I can box select everything in my view. I already have one of the BOM IDs generated, but I'm going to reset the BOM IDs that we will remove the one that I manually added. With everything still selected, I'll then generate my BOM IDs and on the left side, that left pane, I can see that I get a BOM ID for all of the actors that I have in my view that is selected. With everything still selected, I can also add callouts directly from this BOM workshop, just with the create callouts. Those callouts are still selected there, and I can up the size of those in the properties pane on that lower left side, underneath the size, and just drag that up. You can also reassign these balloons. So here I can see I have one, two, then I jump to five, then three and four. So I can select the geometry actors, just holding control to do a multiple select on that. And in the properties, I can update that to maybe a three and just hit enter. I can do the next set of geometry actors. So holding control again, and we'll assign that one to four. And then that last geometry actor, I'll select that one and then assign that one to five. So they're in the correct order. I can also add in a magnetic line. Going to the author tab and the ribbon, I get the magnetic line tool. My first click is one end of the line. My second click is the other end of the line. Then I'll hit escape to get out of that tool. Then I can drag those BOM IDs directly onto this line and they'll snap into place. Then I'll just have to drag them around to reorder them to clean them up. You can also show and hide the bomb table directly from the bomb workshop. It's going to be that lower end of it, show hide bomb table. So I can select that and it's going to show the table. So the size of it is good. I can select it and I can always change the size of the text there so I can make it larger or smaller. To make edits to this table, in the BOM tab in that left pane, I can use the configure BOM columns pop up. I get available properties on the left hand side, so these are the properties I can select to display. On the right hand side is the displayed properties, and I can bring them back and forth using the arrows in between. So let's add in one. I can use the meta properties, and this is just coming over from the actual model there. And let's drop in, let's see here, maybe the material. So I can select that material, then I'm going to use my double arrows to get it onto the displayed properties. As soon as I hit apply, I can see in the background that material column is going to populate. But I may want to reorder those. I'm going to use the, my material to come up. So let's bring that up, maybe just after description. I'm going to have my BOM ID, actually the first one. So selecting any of the displayed properties and then using the arrows above it to either move it up or down. Then when I hit apply again, it will reorder that BOM table for me. So I can just say OK. And now that my view is complete, I can go back to my views tab there and let's make sure we update that view just so we can save out the view. In today's video, we covered how to assign BOM IDs and edit tables. Thanks for watching.